What's up everybody? Ryan here down in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Saturday overtime call. Got a, uh, I got a call from this location that uh, yesterday there was some workers up here, some roofers or some type of work going on and now the uh, air conditioner is not working. At first look, I don't find anything odd. This is the unit right here. It's a uh, carrier unit. Disconnect is on, so we're going to um, open it up and see what we can find. All right, everybody, we do have power. I've got a red indicator light here is illuminated, uh, but right off the bat, I can tell this contactor is pretty burnt and uh, pitted and roached out. This here doesn't look good. It's, uh, the front plate's got a hole in it. So more than likely this um, heat exchanger is gonna be bad. The combustion blower has dry bearings for sure. I'm sure it's loud when it's running, so. I'm gonna open up the blower and see what we got going on there. Well, right off the bat, we got a we got a loose wobbling belt. I'm gonna get my meter out, see if this thing's calling for heat or cool. I've got no call for W1. So, oh, the wires certainly aren't. Oh, look at that! What the heck? Why would I have a call for heat? I just pulled R. Very strange. All right, I've got no call for W, and our heat's on. You can hear that combustion blower. It's not sounding too hot. Let me dig in here a little bit. I'll be back with you shortly. All right, I've got all my low volt wires tightened back up. We're gonna start with the blower and make sure that things are staging on when I jump them out here on the terminal block. All right, so we got blower. We know there's issues there with the belt pulleys. Yeah, I'm gonna jump out Y now, see if our compressor kicks on. And we've got no compressor. I've got no voltage at the contactor. So I'm gonna get some gauges and see if we've even got refrigerant in this unit. Well, we've got pressure. All right, everybody, I've got no uh, voltage coming through our uh, low pressure switch. So I got it pulled off the board here. And we've got no continuity through the uh, low pressure switch. We've got continuity through our high pressure switch. So as it appears right now, it seems like the low pressure switch is open. I'm gonna go give that low pressure switch a small tap and we'll see if uh, if it closes. All right, I just give you a little tap. Super technical stuff I'm doing here, guys. I mean, ooh, I heard something click. Let's go see if we've got uh, continuity through our low pressure switch now. All right, I gave the low pressure switch a tap. I heard something click. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, still nothing. I'm gonna jump out this low pressure switch right here at the board and see if it kicks on the um, compressor. All right, guys, I got R to G jumped out. It's gonna bring on a blower. I got R to Y1. 
should kick on a compressor. We got an open low pressure switch, but we've got standing pressure in the system. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump out this low pressure switch just to confirm. Let's see if she kicks on. And there it is. So it appears to me that the low pressure switch is open. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the panel back on this here real quick. And we got R22 in this system and I'm running about 80 pounds of suction, so I don't believe it's low. Uh, we're gonna let it run for a bit. Condenser fan is running, dumping some heat. So we're gonna write up a uh, new low pressure switch. Uh, again, everything here needs to be quoted. I'd do it right now, but that's just the way it rolls with these uh, commercial accounts. So. On the cooling end, bad low pressure switch. I'm gonna write up the coil cleaning as well. Let's take a look here. Yeah, it's pretty dirty under there. So we're gonna split and clean that. We're gonna write up a couple new contactors. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this system off now. We're gonna inspect that blower and also inspect the heat exchanger. Now they had two Johnson control thermostats downstairs and this is the other unit. And as you can see, the uh, disconnects off and the gas valve's off. So I'm gonna get the information on this. Probably gonna check the heat exchanger, look at the wiring real quick. And um, this might be a candidate for a replacement right here. But in the meantime, we're gonna focus on this one. See if we can get them up and running. All right, I got the power off. I got this floppy belt. We're gonna write up a new belt. We got dry bearings on the motor. I don't know if you can hear that over the hissing of the refrigerant now, but shouldn't be making that noise. So we're gonna a new blower motor, new pulley, new belt, new contactors, new low pressure switch, coil cleaning. I always like to give these a shake, not too bad. They don't sound too bad. I think uh, that blower will last for a little bit. So we've got a uh, pretty extensive list going already. And guess what I forgot, my notepad. So I'm gonna set this down, I'm gonna go get it, I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back, I got my notepad. So I'm gonna start writing down what I found so far. Seven eighths by three and three quarter adjustable pulley. And there's my list so far. So, so now that we got that all written down, I'm gonna inspect this heat exchanger. not looking good all right guys I can almost tell just from the front plate what kind of uh, shape the heat exchanger is gonna be in but you see all that that's not good yeah not good at all and I'm sure it looks even worse around the front Light press here. Oh, no good. And we've got multiple thin spots. So this one's a goner. And like I said, the condition of this front plate, I mean, there's a hole in it right there. 
not good. So, we're gonna test the heat just to confirm the gas valve works. Everything else is gonna get replaced. Might as well just write up the gas valve, but as far as we stand right now, heat exchanger, combustion blower, burners, uh, igniter, flame sensor, all the safeties, blower motor, pulley, low pressure switch, coil cleaning, contactors. Uh, what else is there? Uh, condenser fan motor's working. Oh, it's gonna get a new ignition control board. So, I'm gonna kick it on in heat just to make sure this gas valve works. If it doesn't, and I've got power at the gas valve, then we're writing up a gas valve. So I'm gonna take my jumpers here, and I'm gonna kick it on to R and W, W, apply power. There we are, and it did light. So, gas valve's good. I'll recommend a gas valve. If we're putting in all those parts already, I mean, might as well write up a gas valve. So, back to the list. So it appears to me that uh, none of the issues with this unit had anything to do with any workers up here on the roof. Um, maybe she heard some people up here working and thought, well, now's a good time to maybe uh, get out of paying a bill on fixing or replacing the unit. So like I said earlier, the store down there has two Johnson Control temp controllers. This particular store though usually only has one unit. so. I'm a little curious as to why the gas and the electric's off to that one. Maybe they did a remodel and eliminated that unit. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, grab a ladder off my van, pop my head up in the ceiling, locate the ductwork, and see what, what we actually have up there. I'm going to do that right now. We're going to button this up. And then I'm also going to gather all the info on uh, what to get, what info you need to get when uh, quoting to replace a unit. So. Got my light, and I'm gonna grab one of those ladders. All right, there's the unit we're working on over there. This is the unit that's shut off, and uh, as you can see, all the ductwork's been disconnected, so that unit is out of commission. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hop out of the roof, and we'll get back up there and uh, deal with the unit we're working on. All right, guys, so. This old carrier, Weathermaker, was originally on that. The, they must have shortened the space up because all the ductwork's disconnected. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and write on here. Not in use, ductwork disconnected. That way, if anyone else comes to work on this, they don't have to pop their head up in the ceiling, see what they got going on. That one's no longer being used. So this particular location only has the one. And as you can see, this one has lots of issues. They all have lots of issues. Just like me, I got issues. I'm sure you got issues. I think anyone in this trade has issues or not. But anyway, so I, I see what she was talking about. The crew that was working here just showed up and it appears they're pressure washing the building. So, That's what you heard, and I'm sure it had nothing to do with why this unit's not running. All right, everybody, so I'm gonna button this unit up, but there's not gonna be a whole lot I can do for them today, get them uh, heat or air conditioning. Um, like I said, everything's gotta be quoted. This unit needs a lot more work. Heat exchanger, blower, contactors, low pressure switch, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna button it up as is, let the manager know what's going on, and uh, we'll go from there. And anytime I shut off the heat, guys, I always shut off the gas valve and I always snip low volt call for heat. That way, if somebody wants to come back up here and uh, hook it back up, they've got to take it all apart. They've got to rehook up the wire. They have to turn a gas valve back on and they have to turn the ball cock back on. So that's what I'm doing. And that's why I'm doing it.
All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. A simple no cool call turned out to be heating issues, blower issues, low pressure switch, dirty coils. So we're gonna submit a quote to do all that work um, here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I appreciate you coming along with me. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That'll notify you anytime I got a new video coming out. Hit like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the videos. I appreciate you coming along. I appreciate you watching my videos. So I'm done with this one and I'll see you on the next one.